Driver Chris, make sure you're player two. CB Audio and Rabbi. CB Audio and Rabbi. You guys want to take the logo wall set up. CB Audio and Rabbi at the logo wall. Yellow wall. Chris. Smiley, Fire Lord. Where's Fire Lord? Uh, you guys are going to take the other no, it, open set up the it. table in the back. It's kind of facing me. Or if we're going to be bigger. I mean, there I feel like go. it could be, but then I think we might be pushing, like, having people wait outside. I mean, it used to not have a cap. What, what did it used to pull, though? Huh? Sure what did we used to pull? 200. 200? 180. Where do people go? Well, recursion, I'll say, should be here. We had two stream setups. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, here we go. Getting into this, yeah. Palutena versus Joker. The classic top-tier matchup. Starting on PS2, as you always do. So, I don't really know how this matchup is. I don't really pay attention to these two characters. I'm assuming it can't be that bad for either. It's probably even, but... You know, Chris is doing a pretty good job right now of catching his landings and keeping him in disadvantage, but... You know, Jack, uh, Jackpot just needs a few hits, and that, that Joker can just be an extremely high percent. <laughs> Pretty, uh, not, nothing crazy too far, though. I've seen it at 180. There's no way. There's no way. I've been here where the bracket was huge. Alright, help me down. You uh, beat your opponent. Woo! Street design, Tourist, Station 5. Street design, Tourist. Station yeah. five. Fair enough. Yeah, because I definitely remember the pull system being in. Alright, getting a grab on that back air and now ooh, not getting hit by that up air. Good stuff from Chris reacting to that. Paladin aerials are super scary because they can all kill ridiculously early. Yeah. And it's really important I feel like to have our send because right now you're not really gonna be seeing a kill from Chris anytime soon unless he gets an edge guard. Unless he gets a little joker oh, back there. He might have been able to get an up smash there, but Cheeky back there. No, not gonna happen. Tries to go for it. So Jackpot can play a little more comfortably right now and feel him out until he gets our send, and in that case he has to be really scared. Alright, good back there there, offstage situation. Good recovery from Chris that are going high. Not getting hit by that nair drag down, because that's really good against Tethers. Not dying to that Wow, that's it. Not yet. Wow. 151 and living, never mind. Back yep, there. That'll do it. Jackpot taking the first stock here, almost making someone of a comeback. He just needs to find this one kill. Level right? Card, yeah. Through. It's a little bit more on the R set meter, I think. Yeah, and it, oh yeah, now he gets R10 for sure. One hit from a good R10, but oh, seems like Jackpot is really just not is not caring about it. Got some good extra credit right now on him with 76%, 85, keeping it going up. In the back though, getting rid of R10, and this is another bad situation for Chris. Fishing for those back ears right now. Sitting at 181, full rage. Definitely find a kill here if Jackpot can land something. That back throw definitely yeah. take that stop. You're not living that. Yeah. And now, Crystal still has to make a huge comeback. You're sitting at you know, 123% right now. Back throw living well. Yeah. Alright, down throw. We're gonna get a small combo here. Oh, and getting into the re grab. He missed that up air. He could have gotten some really big damage on him to start things off, and that they're not going to kill yet. It looks like they're both struggling to oh. kill a little bit. Honestly, it looks like they're both just like having a hard time finding their kill yeah, options yeah, that they want. Wow, if that back air hit, <laughs> that would have actually just been it. That down air into the back air. Chris. Chris taking this back, getting the lead, and sitting at 179. Good I'm comeback man. from him using the Ahai, I think. Yeah. Joker edge guards are something that you really just have to pay attention to his positioning. If he's going off stage, he's definitely going to be looking for a back air or a neutral air. 
Japan if he's going and he's always going to be looking for like a down air or something when coming back onto the stage. Yeah. But if he's on ledge, he's probably just going to be looking for an A to own or an A yeah. huh? Something to get you in. All right, getting down throw fair. Good so damage. I have some good momentum right now. Yeah, I love how Chris is keeping this right now. One thing I know about Chris is that when he gets momentum, he's very strong at keeping it. I think it can take him sometimes a while back to get that momentum. That back air, not going to kill yet. Oh, actually it does, never mind. Good job. Yeah. Getting into game two now, sorry about that. Back to PS2. Yeah, Tope, you're being featured in chat, bro. How's it feel? That was a weird up smash. Yeah. I feel like that's that not really, Yeah, but I feel like it's not really when you when you want to go there on that platform. I feel like it's better to press with up air and yeah. save up smash for when you're ready to get a kill. Up smash is such a good like ledge option, not really a great tech chase unless you're like at a high percent. Right now they're just playing just the safe mid, uh, neutral right now. Yeah. Not really like pushing advantage too hard, just trying to feel each other out, play safe. Getting that nair. I, I think he tried to go for that back air and messed up, but he had the forward air, but still. Crispy is letting this momentum, keeping go. it going, getting that down in the back air is so good. Taking the first stock. I feel like the reason he's dying to that is he's preemptively DI'ing for the up smash. Yeah. And he's not expecting that back air to hit, so he's at, so he's just like he's dying he's not react yeah, he's not reacting in time to the situation. Good stuff to Crystal for being able to mix that up. Man, that's going that's definitely going to do it, yeah. Back to even. Back to very even. Honestly, like I was saying earlier, if Jackpot can just get these early kills, he can just take this. It's just a matter of how long will Crispy allow him to live. Alright, good back air. And the dash check there too. Oh, almost got that confirmed. That would have maybe killed there, honestly, on ledge. I don't know how strong down smash is on lightweights, but that might have actually taken it. All right, putting him off stage. Good situation for Jackpot. Oh, but he drops that situation. The re-grab. Yeah, he knows that he's not going to get a kill at that percent. Oh, didn't the ledge there. That was risky. Yeah. I think he meant to, though. I don't think he meant to, like, recovery mix up there. F smash at 66. This is such a scary situation for Jackpot, but if he can get this kill, he can definitely make this into an interesting set. Back and throw it, that's not going to kill just yet. Oh my god, I thought that was, I thought it was Jackpot. I got scared, I was like, hang on, what happened? Very good, dash check there. That's a great up air to take that. Jackpot actually gets securing himself a lead again. And now let's see how long he can keep it. We know that Chris earlier, yeah, when he had the lead, out. when Chris had the lead earlier, he was having a problem um, with Talon. He was not having a problem actually getting the kill. But now that he has our set, it might be easy for him. As long as Jackpot isn't able to avoid this stuff. 64, he's just got to find something here. Yeah. Jackpot's doing a good job of avoiding our set. He really understands like Joker's spacing and like, what he's going for. That backer getting such big damage. Oh, okay, not getting a back air off that. Nair, no. Not gonna kill, wow. Oh, but can't recover. Yeah. Good stuff to Jackpot making that back, and we got a game three. So, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, we actually changed the stage list this week. Oh, yeah. We got rid of Northern Cavern, and now we have Callus. We brought it back. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel great about it because I play DDD. Well, yeah. 
to make me a montage, and I want that to be the end clip. <laughs> Just a thumbs up right there. Iconic right. key moment. Sticking with PS2. Yeah, I mean, this is a very neutral stage. If, if you really feel comfortable in the match and, and like, where you are, and you don't feel like you need to, like, hit more or less keys, you don't really feel like you need to jam more or get, like, and, like, control space more, then, like, yeah, PS2 is just a good pick. Right now, Chris with the momentum right now, which, like we were saying before, is really scary. He's already got a 50% lead. Adios, Impres. Yeah, get on commentary, Jazzo. Yo, I'm substitute commentary, Jazzo on, on the yeah. scene right now. This is the man who ate fatalities, mac and cheese, anyways. Um, <laughs> so, actually, uh, Chris taking that first stock. What we were saying earlier is that when Chris gets like a lot of momentum, he's able to carry it really well. But when Jackpot, honestly, Jackpot definitely has a good comeback factor just because he knows how to weave around Joker's options really well. So he's able to just live long. Like he's been living to 170 every game. I mean, I saw that. I noticed that. Um, Jackpot's not one of the Even if he was able to pick up that first stock, with all the things he was not standing the last game, so Jackpot was really good on surviving. Yeah, and that's definitely helped him out a lot here, but he does need to find this kill chain, and he does it with that back air, bringing us to a whole even game right now. What I'm liking from like Chris is he's fading out a lot of Palo's grounded options, because he, Jackpot wants to play the safe game, obviously. So he's baiting out a lot of his options for the full hop and then going for back air, which is a great whiff punish tool. If I were King Chris, I would definitely keep like keep away like a, a little bit and not try to force too many interactions to get Palutena and then just look for that punish. Like it seems like he's been trying to look for the momentum. Good like, counter there. Doesn't seem like he's right now trying to figure out. Uh, but, but but saying that gets him off that stage. He definitely needs to like, I feel like the one problem in the set is that they, they've each been struggling to find no options though, like they're good at weaving around in neutral and getting some of the hits that they want, and when they get momentum each they're good at carrying it, but it's just hard for them to find a kill sometimes, but not there at all, getting a back air, and Jackpot taking the lead, this is looking a lot like game two now. One set away from winning the whole set. Yeah. One stock away, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. Got the narrow, but didn't get the loop. Yeah. He tries to go for a pivot grab, but what are you grabbing? Right grabbing Casper Soul right now, bro. He's grabbing Arsene. That'd be the funniest thing if you could grab Arsene when Joker's facing away and it would actually grab That would honestly be a. Uh, Okay, hot take. I think that was a good idea. No. <laughs> no. Anyways, back to the match. Uh, Crispy actually getting a, um, almost really taking this away. If he gets that back air, gonna whiff it though. Good stuff to Jackpot actually getting that fastball. He's doing really good at avoiding Arsene's options, which I absolutely love to see because it's not easy to weave around that. But he knows what Chris is looking for so well. That back air definitely going to kill. And honestly, this isn't too far from an even game. Really, if Chris just gets one combo, I mean, it's virtually even. Well, that pressure is still there. One stock could be the end of this set. Well, it is going to be the end of this set. Yeah. It's still in Jackpot's favor, just living those hits and living uh, living those... Like, just, just living every single option he's going to throw out. Even with Arsene. One thing you need to know when fighting against Joker is that you need to be able to evade Arsene through, like, the whole entire period. It lasts longer than, like, a lot of the like, comeback mechanics. Like, and... I'm not gonna lie, they kind of butchered Cloud's limit with game Joker this. <laughs> so you gotta keep in mind that you gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta play very defensive. And Jackpot's doing that great, which is why he's been living up to that high percentage because he knows like yeah. what not to get hit by. Him. Yeah, exactly. And I really love seeing that. And you know, oh my God, that F smash! If he got that, I think that would have been it. The parry on that back air, Chris trying to apply so much pressure right now. He's trying to get that down air into the up smash, which is a good option, but keeps on missing the second. Oh, he's he gonna take it. it. 
That was Chris. a good Jackpot game for a minute there, but Chris brings that back with that S smash. Our set for the win. Yeah. Hey, I'm all alone with you guys. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? <laughs> DLC carry? Come on, y'all. DLC carry, man. Uh, looks like I have to fight. I have to fight Chris. Apparently, I have, I have to fight winner of this set. You have to fight the winner of this set. Yeah, I have to, I have to fight. I have to fight Chris now. Oh, well, have fun. Yeah. Have fun and Ken <laughs> Joker. Are you playing Tazia today? Um, and, and I'm doing it in certain matchups. I'm not gonna do it with everybody. No, you should go solo Tazia today. Solo Tazia today? Yeah. Nah. Uh, well, what's up, Vendetta? Vendetta, tell this man to go. I tell don't know. Tell him to go solo Kazuya. Uh, it needs a little bit more work. But, you know, why tell him he's capping. <laughs> I'm not capping. I'm